today we'll be talking about how to create documentation and generally how to automate the documentation process so just to give you a background in software engineering whenever we write any code we need to create the documentation around it this is not only for us to understand our code but it's also helpful for others who is checking our code it's easy for them to understand what's going on so basically if you're writing a function you would define what are the arguments it is taking and what's the return type and all that similarly we do it for any data models that we create but it sounds simple but sometimes it's a long it, it takes a lot of time to create this documentation you have to do a lot of manual work and then generate it and then publish it uh, to maybe some website. So we'll see in dbt how easy it is to create a documentation and how dbt creates automatic documentation around it. So let's get started. So in the last video we have created one data model that we have used Jinja template and this is the model we created. So this is on the intermediate stage. So this is the model that was created in Snowflake. So basically it has some columns you can see the data what it has it has few columns here and there there is some table details like what's the query it is created so this is something that is purely related to snowflake but we'll see like how to create a different documentation using dbt and which is having more details than this right so we'll go back to our stuff so for this create any documentation you have to create a schema.yaml file in the same directive wherever you having the model so if i'm documenting the model for if i'm documenting this model I'll be having the schema.yaml file here. So few things that this is a YAML file. So basically it defined what version it we are using. So this remains the same. Then you define the models. So you can have in the same directory, you can have different models. So you just define for which model you are do documenting. So I'm documenting for this model. So this is the name same as this, this particular model, right? After that, you define what's, what this particular model is doing, right? So I've just written like this is the description for it. So this is uh, this is how you need to write in YAML. So if this is like multi-line, you just define this character and you ju just define what's the description for that model. You have all the columns that you want to document. So suppose I have the order ID, you define the name, you define what this particular column is and what's the data type. It's very helpful for others to consume their data because if so suppose think that any downstream systems are there and they want to get this data. So they should know like what's my data type so that they can do some transformation on top of it. Similarly, you define all your columns so i think this is like i have defined like all four columns that we are we are using so this is all it takes to define the documentation for any model so now let's see like how you generate the documentation with dbt so you go to terminal you just define dbt docs generate so this command will generate your um, like documentation so once you generate the documentation it creates something called as catalog.json so it have the your uh, documentation as a json file that can be passed as a html documentation to just to see how how it looks like you can do like dbt dbt docs sub so this will create a web server and your documentation will be shown as a web website so which if you see we just using this and just using some uh, command with dbt doc you are able to get all this documentation let me show you what does it look like so you have a project this is the project you have so you have different functions like you have macros you have models you have sheets so whatever you have just created in your project everything will be shown here Similarly, you have a database. So we are talking to dbt tutorial and we are we are having like um, models for all these stages, right? You have intermediate, you have marts, you have public. So every stage will show you like what what's the particular model that you're using that you can see. And suppose uh, this is the documentation we have created. Now let's go to this model. 
so if you see in description it shows the description that you already defined right let me go back so this is the description that comes here because you have just created the documentation it will give you all the column and what's the description for all of this right it will give you the type and it also defines what are the depends on so basically we are just getting the data from this particular seats right so if i just go back to jinja so if you see that we are getting the file from uh, data from the seat so it, it will show like depends on and if you are using any macros it will show the macros also and it will show the source how you are getting this data so this is nothing but this is the same query and if you want to see the compile version you click here and you just see the whole compile how how does it look like so you can just copy and you can verify in snowflake if your data is coming properly so if you see just using few steps all this is getting generated automatically so you are not doing a lot of effort so dbt knows the connection between different component and it's able to document it very well let's see one more way so if you see in schema.yml file we have defined the description like this suppose i do not want to give the description here i want to give a description in a different file i i just want to inject that it here what you can do you can create one more file as events.md you can define a doc tag with some name and you can give any dog uh, any description here and this will be used to describe your model so for this what you need to do is so you go back to schema.yml so if you have the description then in place of this what you do is you just define this particular tag so let me just remove this so what it is doing is it knows that i have a external documentation and i need to inject that here so this name is nothing but this is the name that you just gave in the document tag so this is another uh, use of jinja template so you can write any documentation and you can just inject that in the model so let me just run the second so just to create a documentation you have to do like dbt docs generate then dbt docs sub so now you go back to the models that you already created and if you see the description this description is coming from a different file so these are two ways and whatever i've shown you this is like some usage of events so these are like two ways to create documentation if you want to learn more what are the different ways and how you can create a very uh, very good documentation you can just refer to the dbt docs you can just go to this about documentation page and you can just read about this but i have just shown you all that you want to know about D dbt documentation if you want to go in depth you can just read about this page so this is all i wanted to share for today see you in the next video